just by thanking my parents and my teachers for encouraging me and supporting me through my journey this far. Um, volunteering has been a huge part of my life. It's an amazing feeling to be able to help people that are less fortunate. The first time I ever volunteered was at the Special Olympics many years ago. Um, my aunt's company actually sponsors the Special Olympics, so that's how I started getting involved and my entire family decided to get involved as well. It was an eye-opening experience to be able to realize that just by showing up, you can make such a positive impact on so many people's lives. The smiles and laughters of the men, the women, and the children that participated in this event is exactly what motivates me to keep volunteering at the Special Olympics and volunteer in many other things as well. After that, I began to help out with the Special Abilities Karate class. There's two little six-year-old boys, Kyle and Ryan, and they have just left such a huge, huge impact on my life. Um, still to this day, I work with them, and they're just, they've been incredible. After that, in my school, we had a blood drive, actually, and being able to read up on how much people you can save just by donating a certain amount of blood, I decided to consistently, every two months, I go to a blood center and donate just to be able to help people. Um, over the summer, I was also a part of a program called Safety Town, which helps kindergarten and first grade children um, learn how to be safe in all different aspects of their lives, such as things such as just crossing the street or not talking to strangers. Um, I've also volunteered a lot through the different extracurricular activities that I take part in. Through the National Honor Society, we do a lot of food drives and clothes drives. Through the Spanish Honor Society, we have tutoring every week for different Spanish students who need help in the language. And mostly through the student leadership organization, I've done telethons, we do elementary school auctions, we do different programs. One of them is called Hands of Hope, where we actually buy food for a food bank in town, and we decorate the boxes for each holiday or each event. And we also do a program called Adopt a Family, which is over Thanksgiving. We buy them turkeys and Thanksgiving food. And over the holidays, we make them, we buy them presents and for the families that are actually in South Plainfield that can't afford them themselves. And we also do the Tiger 24, which is briefly mentioned, which we uh, raise money for all different families in South Plainfield who have actually been through tragedies. I know, I'm not sure what exactly it went to last year, but the year before that, one of the families, their father actually passed away, so they didn't have any income coming into their house. So all the money we raised for that went to their family. And it's just so amazing to be able to contribute to that. And finally, just recently actually, I helped organize a breast cancer fundraiser for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The students and teachers were absolutely amazing. We were able to raise over $4,000 just from our school in one month. And. Um, all these experiences have allowed me to learn so many things about myself, about other people, and being a part of all these different causes has certainly made me a better person.